and you, and you wrote this specially for Noel, did you? Yes. Splendid. All right. Do you know the words, Noel? Oh, I'll have to take a chance. I'll do. Take they a wanted the mind to his record. <laughs> When I was young, when I was young and very sure, for every ill I had a cure, I said, I know, I know, I know, I know. When I was older, more mature and not so very, very sure, I said, well, I know. I think I know. But now I know. Now I really know. Of only one thing I am truly very sure. That is, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. When, when I was young, Love was my right, a passing cloud, a pleasant night. Love was my right, and love was my delight. But with the passing of the years, love brought me happiness and tears. Love was a, a pleasure, a priceless treasure. But now I know. Now I really know of only one thing I am truly very sure. Love is a gift. Love is a gift. For now in the September of my life, now I can remember all my life. All the joys and the sorrows of my life. All the fine tomorrows of my life. Ah, when I was young. And had my memories. I made my memories a thousand times or more. But now, I've had my memories. I've lived my memories a thousand times or more. But now I know, now I really know, that I have hope and something worth the hoping for. What is the word? I can't remember myself. Now I know, now I really know of something I am truly very sure. Love is a gift. No, that isn't it. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't understand. <laughs> sorry, we made a bag of it. Sorry, you made a bag of it. Well done. Pal, that was at the last fence. Um, you've seen it before. <laughs> well done. The last fence. Sorry. It's, it's no I still can't think of that. That's all right. right. That's, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, on. Where, where, where? Sean, ha Sean, how are the vocals? <laughs> what, what, would you try? I don't mind. Would you give a bar for Noel? <laughs> for all your friends <laughs> in here. <laughs> Sean Mooney, ladies and gentlemen, you've 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 seen him and heard him many many moons in the Royal. Who who might play for you? Would Peggy do the do the yes. deed? Sing something I know. I will, yes. <laughs> Always sing something. Always sing. Wait till I give you a hand. Are you all right there, Peggy? Yeah, fine. This is we're just bouncing this on people straight away, and just see how the how the old chords are hanging together. Well, 
actually, this is the first song I sung and I went on the Royal. And uh, Noel was the one that persuaded me to start 25 years on the stage. And the song, the first song I sung was uh, a friend of mine. So I'd like to sing a portion of it now for Noel. Thank you. When you are happy, friend of mine, and all your skies are blue, tell me your luck, your fortune fine, and let me laugh with you. Tell me the hopes that spar you on, the deeds you mean to do. That missed the mark. Am I not yours for we love? Oh, how else can friends prove true? Tell me what breaks and brings you low, and let me stand. So I'm stopping the bill in the royal. Right. Several right. times he stopped the bill. Right. No, and he's singing very well tonight, it, mind you. Not he bad is. at all. There's nothing wrong with them pair of vocal cords at all. And thank you very much indeed, Peggy, for the lovely accompaniment. A well, question you say, I, we, we you want. Say, you say that. that you saw Sean Mooney stopping the bill in the Royal. I saw Sean Mooney. Oh, were you? With, were you? I didn't know. I thought, I thought you were at school. <laughs> yeah. surprise. Sorry, you were going to say I something was, today. There's one thing I'm, I'm always dying to find out from Noel. Well, I'm, from, I'm, a, I'm a Dublin man, but where did he get that expression, me old brown son? That's right. That's yeah, everybody right. was his old brown That's son. Right. Everybody, yeah. I know it's a Dublin expression, but where did it come from, Noel? Oh, I don't know. My mother used to use it, you know. Uh, I think it was a, a little brown-faced fella, Tom Mullen. Not a Dublin he, he used it's, it's not a Dublin expression. It's not expression. a Dublin expression. No, I don't think so. It's what, a Cockney expression. Is it a Cockney? Real Cockney. A Cockney expression. Yeah, Tell because, you know, the, well, Tom, Tom he was a brown, a brown face. Oh, but, uh, a Bunzer is a fella that you share your, your, your grub with, or, or oh. you share your cigarette with, or t tobacco. That's why you call That was it. a Bunzer. Yeah, yeah. Well, your, where did you he, always your share, man. We were all your brown son. Why, why? <laughs> why did you all oh, always? 
Oh, no, he, he was, was a brown. He was your boss. Because he was brown. Listen, I was with the traffic with this So he was a brown son anyway. Yeah, he was a brown son. But he was your bun, sir. Oh, yes. But why was I only your old brown? My father called on you. No, we used to have one of the sessions. Yeah. Even Peggy Dell was your brown son. No. I have a little present for you on your birthday. This is a little bit of Tyrone cut glass, which has been specially done for you. And I don't know whether you can get close enough on that camera, but internally in the piece of Tyrone cut glass is a picture of Mr. Noel Purcell, engraved on the actual piece of glass, complete with beard and white hair and everything. Can you see that? And obviously, it doesn't come off a shelf anyway. We didn't know anything about it being your birthday now, Noel. Remember, we didn't know a thing about you being your birthday. It doesn't come off a shelf. It was specially done by our friends in Tyrone Crystal, and it's something that will look nice on top of the old piano when Peggy Dell comes in to play it, yeah. or something like that. Okay? Indeed, Would you accept yes. that from us with our great gratitude and fond thoughts to you on your birthday, and to thank you, as many of the others have said, for all the happiness and joy and entertainment and laughs and good humour that you brought into our lives. <laughs> well, sit down, 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 sit down. Well, just take that. Just leave it down there. Oh, isn't that great? Just leave it down there. Thanks. Peggy. Yes, afraid. yes, please. And, and also, great. because it's your birthday, you have a birthday cake. Oh, Pete Cheney. <laughs> and if you don't My get down there... My is in short. If you don't get down there... If you don't get down there and blow out the candles, the place will go on fire. Come on, <laughs> there's little motifs of caravans for certain of your movies, the cottage from Captain Boycott, the whale from Moby Dick, the ship, and, and mutiny on the bounty. And it says, happy birthday, Noel, and you blow out the, your candles. All right? Thank you, Dick. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Mind your beard. Mind your beard. That was a special edited version of the 1973 Christmas Late Late Show, a tribute to Noel Purcell, who died earlier today, and indeed to a whole generation of Irish entertainers. vegetables are allowed in the Bird's Eye Country Club. Only firm, trim sprouts. Only smaller, sweeter peas. Only bright, young carrots. Only the best can join the Bird's Eye Country Club. We're sorry. So sorry. Milky Way will keep them happy until lunch. It's their favourite, and with its centre whipped till it's really light and fluffy, then covered with delicious real milk chocolate, it's a treat that won't fill them up. Milky Way, the sweets you can eat between meals without ruining your appetite. Aha, Polly! Remember, Maxall marks the spot for the Maxall treasure chest. Oh, shiver me nipples! Right. You've cleared your dandruff using head and shoulders, right? Right. Now, to keep it that way, keep on using head and shoulders. Look, we wash this girl's hair in head and shoulders until the dandruff cleared. 
Then on one side, we switched to a beauty shampoo, but on the other, we continued with head and shoulders. Six weeks later, and look, on this side, the dandruff's back, but on the head and shoulders side, no dandruff. To keep your hair looking this good, use head and shoulders every time you shampoo. Right. Head and shoulders every time, so people notice your hair, not dandruff. Pain. When it seems locked in for the day, you need the painkiller that gives relief even in the worst headaches. Nurofen gives the kind of relief you've never experienced before. Nurofen contains a pain relieving compound which after 14 years medical use is now available without prescription. Ask your chemist about Nurofen. It's easy to take and fast acting. Nurofen for the gentle relief of locked in pain. Choose that important First Communion or Confirmation outfit from Cleary's large and varied selection. You can now win £150,000 in the Irish Sweep. Get your ticket before March 8th. Your permanent income arrives every month with Irish Permanent, the people's choice. You're watching RTE1. Now Mike and Sylvester put more families through their paces in Murphy's Microquism. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening to you. Welcome once again to our programme. Well, last week, as I'm sure you will remember, the Ford Sierra Laser was won in a welter of excitement by the O'Sullivans from Cork. And not content with that, still more of them come, trying to take away our hard-earned prizes here and perhaps another car tonight. Who knows? Let's meet our three families. They come from Wexford, Kilkenny and Dublin tonight. And our first family is introduced by Brenda. Our first family tonight are the Roaches from Barntown in County Wexford. We have Aidan, his wife Kathleen, and two of their sons, John and Aidan Jr. So a warm welcome, please, for the Roaches from Barntown in Wexford. <coughs> welcome, Aidan, Kathleen, John, and Aidan Jr. And Aidan, Barntown, whereabouts in Wexford is that? It's, it's uh, over, over the River Slaney. Near Wexford itself? It's town, three miles outside of Wexford. Right. Town. I believe you're a greyhound man. Well, a few. Meaning you own a few? <laughs> yeah, a few. Yes. And also that you won a, you, one of your greyhounds won a race in Shelburne Park during the week? They did, yeah, that's Would right. Would that be man. right? Yes. Is that a great moment of excitement for you, Aidan? It is, yes. Is it? It's nice going in and collecting the reddies after a tour, I'm sure. It's always when you win. Sure it's exciting. always when you win. <laughs> Kathleen, do you help out with the training of the dogs? I do. I walk them sometimes with Aidan. For the good of my health. Do you mean they walk you or you well, walk them? a bit of both, I suppose. How far would you take them? Uh, about two miles. How many of them at a time? But I take two. Aidan can take more. Of and is it tough? Do they pull away at you? They do. They do I have do to they? hold a tight lead on them. Very good. Uh, John, you're not a doggy man, isn't that right? Yeah. You're, yes, or, yes, you're not or yes, you are? Yes, I'm not. Yes, you're not. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're not mad about the dogs at all, in fact, are you? No. You'd, rather, much... you'd rather be what? Playing hurling? Yeah. You're a good hurler. Very. <laughs> Very. Is that Very. what you said? Very. Brilliant. And modest with it. <laughs> and uh, didn't you win something recently? And no, that was Aidan. Oh, was it? Mm. Oh, he was just wants you to talk about it. He's too <laughs> modest, is that what it is? Well, Aidan, would you like to tell us yourself? We won the under 12s hurling final in Wexford. And Ryan won. Who won? Barntown. Oh, Barntown won, did they? And mm. there you were yourself, one of the stars of the show. Definitely. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Very good. All right, then, there's the Roaches now, the Roaches from Barntown in Wexford. Our second family is introduced by Fiona. Our second family tonight come from Johnstown in County Kilkenny, and they are the Cashmans. There's Pat, his wife Paula, and they've brought their daughter Cloda and son Connor with them this evening. So let's give a round of applause then to the Cashmans. <laughs> uh, 
Well, Pat, you didn't think I knew it, but tonight is your birthday. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? It's correct, yes. Uh, only a child. And look at these big children you have. Huh? And we changed the buzzer for you and everything. Pat came in, you see, and he's he is left-handed, and the buzzers are all on the right-hand side. So because it's his birthday, we changed it around, and we have the buzzer on his left-hand side. <laughs> is there anything else we can do for you? <clears throat> Ask me some nice, simple questions. <laughs> right, all right. <laughs> Paula, what are your interests? Well, I, I like cooking and gardening and flower arranging, and I play a little bit of squash and golf. Do you spend much time at home at all? Well, I spend every afternoon and every evening every, at home. Every afternoon? Except one, e one, night, one, e one night I go out with my husband. We play bridge. He only brings you...